Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and you share my video. Okay, got all those pleasantries out the way. Now we're going to be talking about this dad. This uh, young man that wants to be a girl, and the way the way Wayne is approving of that. Now, this girl can't. Well, this boy can't be no more than what 14, 15 years old, and he thinks he knows everything about life, and he knows everything about his sexuality, and he knows what he wants to be at this tender age, but he should just be enjoying life. Let's take a look. Let's look at it from all sides. And you know it ain't none of our business, but you know we have to give our opinions here and there when we see something. And I gotta bring it back to my family and let's talk about it, okay? That's all we do is talk about it and try to make some sense of what is going on today in our world, in our teenager's life, in our life as parents, and the thing can go on and on and on. But my concern is you put your child to be the poster child of gayness. You know, being accepted, uh, loving on them, uh, taking them away from everybody else that could speak ill will of them. And that can go on and on and on as well. Now, you know, if you were faced with one of your children telling you, I don't like the body that I'm in, or I don't like uh, my sexuality. I would like to change my sexuality. <sighs> now, what would you do if you took it serious and you did their due diligence, not your own, but their due diligence to transform them into who they feel they are? First of all, you're going to get backlash from in and everybody. But God is love. Am I correct? I think I am in that. Uh, got the Bible beating people. It says you're going straight to hell. Don't pass code because you're going straight to hell by doing this thing. Biblically speaking, it is in the Bible. Uh, but when it's faced with your child saying, I don't like the body that I'm in. I don't like the body that I see. Help me with this transformation. But you as a parent, knowing what you know about transforming or going through the process, the steps, uh, medical steps I'm talking about, uh, making them who they say they wanted to be. Like if they were a boy, wanted to be a girl, if they were a girl, wanted to be a boy. And we get to talk about surgical procedures being performed. Would you be up to the task for that? Or would you just pray about it? Or would you just <sighs> probably go crazy, I guess. A better, lack of a better word I can find. But when do we start being adults around here? That's my question. When do we start making adult wrong folks decisions and well-being of particular child? Okay, doesn't matter if they want to be a boy, want to be a girl, girl want to be a boy. You know how that is out here. Anyway, would it be plausible that sometimes I feel like the children are running their parents instead of the parents loving on them and guiding them to the way in which they should and be? I'm not saying that I'm totally against you know, children transform it into whatever they feel they want to do. 
I'm okay with that, just as long as they are an adult and they're making that decision. When I say adulthood, the teen got to be out of there. We don't want to be no 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, making those types of decisions. When you've lived life on your own without your parents' help in any way, even though they're going to give it to you if they can, and they're going to make it a little bit easier for you, in which in Dwayne Wade's case and Gabrielle Union's case, she never had any sons. She just, you know, defaulted in having some stepsons. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people got on me about saying, why you think she did? How you think she did? Well, I look at how people move. And she was just too happy into being the stepmom of a poster child who's calling themselves gay. How do you even know yourself to try to want to make changes as drastic as this? I mean, do Dwayne Wade plan on living a life of longevity until this child gets up to be a grown adult? Can he say he's going to be around to protect her? Because he already on social media blocking people from her Instagram account. I mean, his Instagram account. I'm getting confused just talking about this shit. But when is it okay to say, you know what? Thank you for coming and telling me. I understand your plight, but yet and still your child. Now, you're still going to look like a boy. You're going to dress like a boy. And when you get to the age where you're out of my house, you're living your adult life, and you see how treat people that seemingly think that they belong in another person's body. Meaning a boy trying to be a girl, a girl trying to be a boy. You don't know all the steps because you're learning them every day about how to navigate and move around in that newfound space you think you need. Now, just say nobody knew about the way Wade's door or um, son, and he was not the famous person that would have his children and his family members live somewhat in a bubble because they're protected by money, prestige, uh, they connected with higher ups in the political world, entertainment world, you know, sports world. So you, she would probably, he would probably have a nice life if he was going to live under his dad's roof and be under his dad's protection, you see. Because if we just had an ordinary child trying to figure out their sexuality as they grow, as they age, and then they know the backlashes that they're going to get from people being for them, being against them. Is it right for Dwayne Wade to parade his son out like that, giving him the card to do anything he wants to do? And, you know, from what I've heard, what I've seen, he wants to totally transform his son into a daughter and all the parts that go along with that castration of his penis, you know what I'm saying? Making it into, or shaping it into a vagina, allegedly. What if Dwayne Wade was taken from this earth, you know what I'm saying? He set his kids up if Gabrielle Union don't go through the money prior to them getting their hands on it or whatever. Hopefully he have an estate trust where each one of his children will benefit from his death. But we're not wishing anything like that on him. Don't get it twisted. How would he function in the world that you created for him, that you protected him in? How could he go on living the truth that he thinks he has at this early stages in his puberty, young adolescent stage of his life at this point? Now, Again, my question is posed by what if 
she started liking someone that didn't know he was a, well, she was a he. Because she dresses like a she. But he's still a he. How would that play out if she went on a date and they didn't know who she was or whatnot? She ain't got nothing transformed as far as the penis being, you know, whatever. And this young man approaches her and he really likes her because he's like us. Food to thinking. Now, we just like playing innocent and dumb. We know nothing about Zion or Zion. And he comes up and your son adore well, your son is attracted to this person. But Zion is not out there telling the truth. Or she telling her truth but not the whole truth. So help me God. Okay? Of who she really is. Now looking at that picture and looking at some other pictures she took, the girl, I didn't even know that was her until I really had to look at her and then I was reading the article and I was like oh my goodness that boy looks just like an authentic girl walking around here beautiful and you already know Zion's a handsome young man but he also is a very pretty girl now if your son just say that was an advocate they start liking Zion and you know nothing about that this person is a celebrity a uh, child of you know whatever and they date you know they carry on what not don't get to touch your feet like they date he's getting all interested in her or he but it would be her to him trying to date him her you see what I'm saying and he finds out that she now they say they've been going on going with each other talking with each other whatever but not no touchy feely stuff and she lets it be known because she's liking he's liking the guy dude himself and she he tells the dude i'm really a, a boy can you see how many different ways that could play out with that young man finding out that the person that he thought was a female it's really biological meal. Do you see the damage it can do to whoever is pursuing him? And the damage it can do to her, him, also? I mean, I hope you really got your family in counseling as well as Zion, say Zion, in counseling. Because the world is not going to be so nice. The world is not going to understand what she feels. The world is going to treat her harshly in the skin she's trying to be in. If you're protecting her, if you're protecting her from social media rants about who he is and all of that, then you're doing her also a disservice. Dwayne Wade, and you're supposed to be the logical parent, the loving parent, the protective parent parents but I just pose that question to you all what would you do? what would you do let's go into people magazine people.com had the story out you know we got to uh, cite our sources over here we have amethyst Tate wrote up this article today matter of fact and she titles it Dwayne Wade says he's blocking comments on daughter Zaya's Instagram to protect her mental health. Well, I think the protection has already been torn. Okay? And it's just going to keep tearing until it separates itself. And what type of person is you going to have standing after the aftermath? Now, it goes in to say Dwayne Wade received an outpouring of support from fans after explaining why he's restricted comments on daughter Zion Zion's social media. I'm going to say Zion because that's what he really is. I mean, whatever happened to just letting them be a boy and, you know, just let them be, you know, 
who they feel they need to be. Can you buy me some ginger ale or water? Thank you. Um, have you set them up for that phase of life? Because we used to have gay boys all the time. Uh, we knew about three of them in my high school, the elementary and high school, that I had the pleasure of growing up with. And his parents didn't change. Didn't let him start wearing no dresses, no skirts, none, none of that. They didn't have the makeup going and, you know, all this thing, how we are living in this world today. Mm -mm. If you felt you needed to be that way, they were loving, they were kind, and they were accepting. But they, in their biblical sense or their religious sense, they said it was wrong. You know what I'm saying? But they were there for him. I mean, he used to talk like, switch like, and went on his daily life. Nobody jumped on him or anything in that degree. Because I guess we were, black people are just more understanding than any other races to a certain degree. We're, we can be done wrong and and talked about, dogged out, you know, and we still come back with, with a forgiving spirit. But why couldn't you do what worked in the past that you can do in the future, or the present and the future? Let him grow up as in a boy form. None of that altering or misleading let him shine in his own skin without into alterations i think that would be best because then he he would get the first-hand knowledge and experience of being in these particular shoes wearing them to your best ability and he can receive all the negativity so he can mentally work it out because you're not going to be there all the time it's not going to be a perfect day in the neighborhood, 365 days of Zion's life. But again, let's go back to the article. It says, Dwayne Wade said he restricted comments on his daughter Zion. Uh, I mean, well, we're going to call him Zion over him because that's what he is. He's a handsome boy, but yet also an attractive girl whom he's trying to stage play. You see what I'm saying? Uh, he said he wanted to protect her from the trolls, leaving a negative remark. The retired professional basketball player 40 revealed his decision on Thursday to put in the Instagram feature tweeting about it after fans questioned why the comment uh why the hold on I want something in my thing why he okay I'm sorry the retired professional basketball player 40 revealed his decision on Thursday to put in the Instagram feature tweeting about it after fans questioned why the comment area on Zaya's page was suddenly restricted and they were unable to post a message. Now see, that's, that's a double-minded person right there. You want her to be loved by the world, but yet you're going to protect her from the trolls. No, if she's going to play this part and she wants to transition into this, she got to be strong enough to handle the backlash. You cannot save her from save her from this or him from this. He has to experience it. Because it's either going to make him or it's going to break him. But either way, it would be his role to go down. And you can be there to listen. Because that's all you're going to be able to do is just listen. But anyway, um, going back to the article, it says, uh, for Zaya's mental health and privacy, we've decided not to allow the hate into her comments, said Dwayne of his 15-year-old daughter. Thank you for wanting to spread and show her love. Well, guess what, Dwayne Wade? Unless she's going to be under you 24-7, 365 days out the year. Uh, she needs to have that backlash. She needs to know what type of arena she has put herself in. Just like you would ask a person, would you want to be black in today's society? If you had the choice, would you want to live in that race, that culture type of being? And I'm pretty sure you would have at least 99%, if not a total 100%, where they would say hell to the no, no, no. Because being black and brown is a hard, total rope. 
it is a very hard place to be in. And especially if you are a female, because you get it from a female's point of view that they don't want females to exceed males out there in the corporate world or the world period at large. Then we get it from our own people saying, well, we should be wise. We shouldn't be trying to step over everybody and do take away men's jobs, this, that, and the third. Then we're going to be judged because we are a woman, period. That's another age, I mean, uh, uh, personality trait that we have to be defined under. And it's so unfair. So we get hit three different times. A man get hit one time just being a man. Well, two times because if they want to be gay. You see what I'm saying? So they get hit twice. But they hard they get hit harder. So we get hit harder as well. But this is what Dwayne Wade said. He cut off her Instagram comments because he couldn't take the heat. And I guess his son couldn't take the heat. But then if you're walking in your truth, you're just going about your merry day. And whatever faith you're in, just hopes that it will protect you. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But we're not going to negate the fact that we're going to let this person be in a a world where everything is coming up roses, daisies, and sugar plum fairies. Okay, we can't do that. If you're going to give him that right to be who he say he wants to be at the tender age of 15, because he has life all uh, sold up. He knows everything that he is to know about navigating through this life. Well, he in a big, big, so he has a big, big surprise ahead of him. Because like I said, which is what I thought, he was around 14, 15 years old. 16 being more on point, but he's 15. And he said, okay, well, I'm going to cut off my comments because y'all are harassing him. And, and what he needs to feel like he needs to be in, in the skin that he's in. But you're also taking the good comments away where it can be uplifting for her to see that it's not just her that has this mind control thing, whether they think they don't want to be in a body that they were born into, they want to be in something, you know, like more of a support group. Why are you denying those people to uplift her? When you have so much negativity that is also in her comments. It has a thing called delete and block. Delete and block. But you don't know that nothing about that. Now, do you, Dwayne Wade? Okay? Because you dress up in men's, I mean, women's clothing as well. Okay? And Gabrielle Union takes the male role. But I ain't going to get on Gabrielle Union. I'm getting on your ass because this is your biological child, Dwayne. Dwayne. Wade. Well, going back to the article, it says, many fans tweeted in approval of Wade's decision, period, wrote one. And that's on prioritizing your child's well-being. Uh, I'm going to emphasize he, even though they express she, but we're going to say, he doesn't need our comments telling us he is nonstop serving in every posted photo because she has a solid, real support system at home, and we love to see it. Yep, that's true, but you ain't going to live at home all your life. You're not going to live in a bubble all your life. And especially if he wants to go off to college, but he's sporting that, you know, he's a she. What the hell you think going to happen to him? You're going to be able to say him. You're going to have a bodyguard with him walking around to and fro as he come on the campus. Really? Okay. Moving on. It says, uh, another tweeted, love this protection for baby girl. I hope she knows uh, she has a whole online community of support from a lot of us on here regardless. Mm-hmm. Okay. He posted on his Instagram, on his Twitter account, for Zaya's mental health and privacy. We decided not to allow the hate into her comments. Thank you for wanting to spread and send the love. Yep. That's what he wrote on his Twitter account, which he needs his ass whooped for doing so. Because... Anybody know we can raise our children however we see see fit. We want to raise them, but we can't protect them from hate. We can't protect them from the people that's going to be naysayers. That's going to always be on their asses about who they feel they need to be. And that is wrong. You cannot protect your child all day long. You cannot protect your child 365 days. 
What you can do is keep them in prayer because prayer goes a longer way than what you feel you can do uh, in the material sense as well as the uh, bodyguard situation for your child. I mean, look how many of us got picked on and we was in the same body we were born into. People are going to say and do things that are definitely evil, foul, and just diminish your character who you are. We got bullied in school, and bullying will probably still be in the main frame of getting on a child's nerve when another child don't like them for whatever reason it could be out there. Everybody went through it. Some of us are still going through it, okay? But going back to the article, it says, Since coming out as a transgender in 2020, Zaya has received unconditional support from both Wade and her stepmother, Gabrielle Union. But Zaya, Zaya even though we know he's Zion, has also talked about the struggles uh, she's faced dealing with the online criticism and detrimental beauty advice. As a trans person, once I came out, there was a lot of hateful comments about how I should grow my hair out long or fit into a certain version of femininity, even though that's not true at all, as I said back in May during a joint interview with Union for the Dave, no, for the Dove Self-Esteem Project. That's kind of advice. It's just trying to break you, but don't let it. For Union, it's important that she and her husband try to stress the value of internal beauty to Zaya. You can be a stunner or a classical beautiful person, but if your soul is rotten, you are not very beautiful at all, you said. We try to stress character, compassion, love, acceptance, and joy. That hopefully radiates from the inside out when it comes to how uh, she moves through the world. We try to stress that there is no one, no one way to be a woman or to be feminine. Okay, as for the most important lesson learned, she's from the 49-year-old actress, Zaya said, her telling me that not everyone in the world and the media is going to be truthful about what you look like. I don't have to believe everything they say. The only thing I have to believe is what I feel and what beauty means to me. She continued, I think focusing on inner beauty is the most important part. Okay, and that ends the particular story or article that was written up about her and you know y'all already pretty much know how i feel about it you're gonna love on your child regardless you're gonna try to support them even though you disagree with them but hey that's all in the parental role that you would take on when you became a parent but my concern is you're trying to hide you're trying to stop people from thinking of her in a negative way you're trying to shield her from that that's wrong too you got to learn to be in the good part of her life as well as the bad part. And she's going to have to learn how to navigate through it. You know, it's, it doesn't, it's not going to be a, up to Gabrielle Union or Dwayne to set the tone on how she goes out and live her life when she's away from them. No, 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 no. My thing is, uh, I think she should have been dressing like she was a boy, keeping her identity the way she was biologically born go through life, finish up until she becomes a grown adult, and she would have a plethora of experience of what she has went through prior to them trying to just change her overnight into the body she feels she deserves to be in. That's all I'm saying. You got to learn. You might well learn the hard way while your parents are still here. But they can shield some of the blows or they can pick you up when you're feeling down. Uh, but, you know, what do y'all think about this? Particular article. I would love to hear what do you all think, uh, what do y'all feel about the situation. But it's not just happening to the Wade and his family. There's many families out here that have to be faced with one of their children saying they don't like the body that they were born in. And how would you handle the situation? But that's all I got for this particular video. I ain't got no more. And I will see you on the next one. But please subscribe like and share my videos if you want to do anything else fail just subscribe and like the videos okay you ain't got to share them out if you don't want to somehow you get out to the masses all right all right and i'll see you next video Bye bye